Hello, what is up my chef? Chefy here again back with another video and today we're going to be looking at the Chlorify Extractinator. This is a fantastic item for builders and it also has many uses for other players as well depending on what kind of playthrough you do. So let's take a look at the old Extractinator for a minute. If you take Silt Slush or Desert Fossil or Trash, you can put it into the Extractinator and get some fancy things out of it. We love getting useful things. Nobody likes boring old trash or lame blocks that are affected by gravity. <laughs> but if you take an extractinator and 18 chlorophyte bars at a mithril or or a chalcum anvil, you can create the chlorophyte extractinator. Now this has a couple differences. The first one you'll notice is it's much faster. Look how fast that is. But one other feature is if you put moss into it, you have a chance to get some of the more rare moss. You have a 2% chance and then an 18% chance to get the rest of the mosses. So if you're a builder and you like to build with moss, this is a must have item. So you don't have to go find the moss and scrape the moss. But probably the most unique and best feature about the Chlorophyte Extractinator is it's basically like an exchange system. So say you're in a corruption world but you want crimson things or say you have copper, silver, and gold but you'd rather have the alternative tin, tungsten, platinum. Well, look no further. All you have to do is just put it into the Chlorify Extractinator. I've got some gold bars here for example. It works with ores and bars as well as tissue sample and shadow scales. So if you put these in, you get a one-to-one -one ratio of the other item. This is a game changer. This is such a good idea. There's been many times where I wish I had the other kind, but my world didn't have it and I was too lazy to make another world to try and find it. So this solves that problem. Also, if you have, let's say you have like a pink dungeon, but you'd rather have green or blue dungeon brick, you can put that in and you get the next one. Now this is a cycle. So if you put blue dungeon brick in, you'll get green dungeon brick. And if you put green dungeon brick in, you get pink dungeon brick. So it's an exchange not a destroyer kind of like the shimmer if you if you put enough things into the shimmer it just like goes down and down whereas this is an exchange one to one ratio which is fantastic that's going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe for more terraria content and i will see you in the next video